What up, 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 world? It's your boy Amp Dog with another episode of Politicking. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love, and uh, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, What's the deal? And today we got a crazy story coming out of South Carolina, North Carolina, the Carolinas. Uh, it's a crazy story, man. The ex police chief um, who was basically charged with 70 felonies. He tried to fake his own death. He tried to fake a suicide and got caught. So he's a former North Carolina police chief who charged, who was charged with the 70 felony crimes and uh, fleeing to South Carolina. So he's from North Carolina. He only fled to South Carolina. <laughs> I don't know if that's a far, far distance or not, but it don't seem like it's far on paper. William Anthony Spivy, 36, who served as a chief of the Chadbourne Police Department, was relieved of his duties last spring due to misconduct investigation by the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigations. Wow. So you were big time. His charges included evidence of mis or included evidence mishandling, drug trafficking, and embezzlement. Man, you was corrupt, bro. You were down there like the dude off training day. Nearly a year after the charges were announced, he was reported missing February 21st. Last known to be on a fishing trip in the Lumber River in Columbus County, North Carolina. The Columbus County Sheriff's Office was alerted about an abandoned boat prompting the investigation and an extensive water search. So you just had them use all kind of resources. I'm talking about multiple local and state agencies. Dang. What's your name again? William. William. Fucking idiot. North Carolina wild, wildlife officer spoke to people in the area and learned Spivy was last seen driving a truck in the area and owned the abandoned boat in the Lumber River. That's crazy. So his friends and family came to the scene. So maybe he didn't tell nobody, or maybe he did. But then when family members described the incident as a possible suicide, I know that would have gave me um, red flags. Like, oh, so <laughs> oh, y'all just know he's going to kill himself? Anyway, investigators found handwritten letters at the scene and a twenty two caliber rifle with the discharged round still in the rifle. However, investigators concluded the evidence collected didn't support a suicide scenario. Uh, he didn't think this one through. <laughs> Video collected for, from surveillance systems and interviews made, made it more apparent that the scene on the river was staged. <laughs> so they basically gave him a, a arrest warrant uh, for his failure to report to court. And he was entered as a missing and wanted. It's crazy how you go from one side of the law to the total opposite. You know what I'm saying? That's why you can't blend the two. You got to either be, you know, law abiding or you going to just be a criminal. You feel me? They say a break in the case came when they received a tip that Spivy uh, had contacted the Columbus County Sheriff's Office. Oh, no, 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 no. He didn't contact. I was about to say, I know he ain't that goddamn stupid. All right, so they basically got a tip regarding it, and the, and the people contacted them. Okay. Together, they said they found Spivy on Thursday at an apartment outside the small city of Laura, South Carolina. He attempted to flee into some nearby woods before he was ultimately arrested. Now, see, this is where if you're going to do some stuff, like, you got to have a background like him, you would think. Because he know the ins and the outs. He know how they going to try to, you know, chase him down in the pursuit. How they going to try to, you know, maneuver the situation and bring it to a head. But it still didn't work. He got caught. Um, he's currently being held at the Columbus County Detention Center with no attorney listed. Damn. The sheriff's office says Spivy has 40 outstanding warrants for failure to appear, and each warrant has a bond of 25000 bringing his total bond to a million. What the f- 
anybody that was arrested by him, uh, ticketed, anything, they should be able to get all that reverse, get it taken care of. He probably been robbing people since who knows what. He's a fucking ex police chief. I don't know if I don't know if it takes any um, type of you know schooling or like certain amount of years in the force to get there, but I don't know. This dude's crazy. And as you can see in the photo, he looked like allegedly he was on like meth and all that kind of stuff. To me, he looked like that. You know, in the, in the not the police photo. I mean, a little bit, but in the actual mugshot. The sheriff's office says Spivy basically <clears throat> he was arrested in April 2021, accused of repeatedly raiding the Chadbourne Police Department's evidence room and stealing narcotics, thousands of dollars in cash, and firearms. In June, he was charged with allegedly embezzling $8,000 meant for the family of a leukemia patient. So he ain't got no type of moral compass no nothing he's like when they say a dickhead when you talking about the, the the police the boys he's a dickhead for sure like ain't no goddamn what for a leukemia patient bro you gonna steal the money yeah man you gotta go to that place you gotta go to that special place it rhymes with jail but it's hot as and that's where you you got a special spot at. you got to you got to and then in january he was arrested again charged with stealing catalytic converters from auto repair shops. <laughs> I mean, I get it, because you still in catalytic converters, if they just got them on stand and they ain't selling them in auto repair shop, they probably receiving them illegally too. But, you, I mean, I get it. Maybe you robbing the, the robbers, I guess. I don't know, but you just one corrupt mother. And you know, you know, no matter what, no matter how dirty you was as a cop, when you go to jail, um, even though you should go to hell, um, they don't, they don't take you like lightly. They still going, they still going to take advantage of you in there or try to, I mean, I hope you prepared or ready. Officials said the investigation is still ongoing and additional charges and arrests are likely. Man, what additional charges? In the, oh, like they about to arrest more people. Damn, so maybe they can, they could, you know, get a, a, a couple more officers that's corrupt. Or maybe he was the only one. I don't know. But um, this is definitely on some, like, like fresh out of the theaters. You know what I'm saying? Denzel Washington. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hoyt. Or whatever the nigga name is. I don't know. But. This type of corrupt shit right here, you only can write it in a movie. So I want to give him his flowers of being one of the most dumbest, one of the most exciting criminals that's ever wore a badge. Like, because we've seen a lot of crazy stuff. We've seen a lot of crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? But if you look at the, even the photos of him being arrested, he look like he's he's high. Allegedly. I'm going to just say allegedly, just in case he need extra bail money. You can't get it from me. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, allegedly, he looks like he was on a good one. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Thankfully, he's off the streets because I can imagine how many people he took advantage of, how many people... You know, probably thought that they was going to jail that night. You know what I'm saying? Because they got found with whatever. And he was just on some, give me the bag. Now get the fuck out of here. Like type shit. You know, one of them type of dudes. I guess some people could appreciate him depending on what you choose to do with your, you know, your professional life. But, uh, yeah, he got to go. And uh, in, if any anybody else pops up, you know, they got to go too. You feel me? Just don't learn from him. Don't do the dumb shit he did. Because the dumb shit he did is, is pretty goddamn stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how much, I can't say that word, but how much, like, slower you could be. You know what I mean? It don't get no slower than this. You know, so uh, shout out to, you know, the, the, the Carolina Bureau of Investigations, or whatever they call it. Um, 
yeah, this dude crazy. He got 40 outstanding warrants. He's like one of the most corrupt law enforcement officers that then got to that position. Because I, I think the chief is pretty up there. You feel me? Like, and then for you to go out trying to fake your death, like, you got to be high. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Uh, as always, protect yourself, protect your peace, protect your people. Uh, peace.